welcome back guys today i'll be doing part two last week i did part one and i'll be doing the same type of question where i'll be finding the stationary points and also determine if the stationary points is a minimum or a maximum point let's get started so once again i'll be doing part b where I'll find the stationary points and determine the nature of each stationary point. Now, since I have a bracket, I will have to multiply x by the bracket that I have here. So multiplying x times x squared, that gives me x cubed. Then multiplying x times minus 12x, that gives me minus 12x squared. And then multiplying x times 36 that gives me 36 x and after having this i will be differentiating so differentiating gives us it's a next step to get the stationary point so we differentiate and we get 3x squared that's the differentiate x cubed this we have to multiply 2 times 12 that's 24 and subtract 1 from the power so we'll have x to the 1 which is the same as writing it as x differentiating 36x I will get 36 now I will equate this to be equal to 0 so this will give me the x value for my stationary point so looking at this it is divisible by 3 so I am going to divide the entire equation by 3. So 3 into 3x squared, the 3 cancel, 3 into minus 24x, that gives me minus 8x. Then 3 into 36, that gives me 12. And equal 0 because 0 divided by 3 is 0. Now factorizing this, I need two numbers that multiply to give me 12, but add to give me the center, which is minus 8. So those two numbers I have to think about. What can multiply to give me positive 12, but add to give me negative 8? So I like to put it like this. Multiply to give me 12, add to give me minus 8. And those two numbers are negative 6 and negative 2. Those are the two factors. So I will replace the center with the two numbers. So I have x squared minus 2x minus 6x plus 12 equals 0. Now I'm going to have my first two group, which is x squared minus 2x in a bracket. And my next two group, which is minus 6x and plus 12 in a bracket. In the first bracket, I factor out an x. I'm left with x minus 2. And the second bracket, I factor out minus 6. So I'm left with x minus 2. So that means I can now find x. So the x minus 6 are grouped together and equated to be equal to 0. And the x minus 2, I also equate it to be equal to 0. So this means x is equal to positive 6 and x is equal to positive 2. So now that I have my x values, I need y. It is the original function, either the expanded one or the one that I didn't expand, I use. So substitute x equal 2 and x equal 6. I will be able to find the values for y. So substitute into the original. I will have 2 cubed minus 12 times 2 square plus 36 times 2. And now I will calculate. Now 2 cubed. That's 8. 2 squared is 4 and 4 times 12. That's 48. And 36 times 2. That gives me 72. So calculating this, I will say 
8 minus 48, that's minus 40 plus 72 to give me 32. So therefore, my first stationary point is x is 2 and y is 32. The next, when x is equal to 6, I will substitute 6 wherever I see x. So I have 6 cubed minus 12 times 6 squared plus 36 times 6. So 6 cubed is 216, then we have 6 squared, that's 36, times 12, that's 432, 36 times 6, that's 216. So when we add these together, we will get 0. So our y value is 0, so x is 6 and y is 0. This is the second stationary point. Now, to determine the nature, I have my f prime and I'll be doing the second derivative, differentiating the f prime once more to get 326, so that's why it's 6x minus 24. When you differentiate minus 24x, you get minus 24. Now, substituting x equal to the first stationary point, when we work this out, we will get a negative answer. The negative answer tells me that it's going to be a maximum point. Now we're going to test for x equals 6, and this will tell us, based on substituting it, I am getting a positive value, and the positive value means that we have a minimum point. So in other words, for a turning point, based on determining the nature of each stationary point, for a 6, 0, as you can see, we have minimum points, so it's a minimum. And for the next, it's a maximum. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.